Hi everyone, I'm Tim Von Rieden here at CGCookie.com and welcome to this quick tip tutorial on how to set up and customize your keyboard for Photoshop. So now that I've become a little more familiar with Photoshop over the years, I seem to notice that I'm using my left hand on the keyboard as much as I'm using my right hand to draw. And that's because if it's from resizing the brush to doing the undo to the liquify filter, there's certain keys that I keep pushing to and I'm doing it almost as frequent as I am drawing. And these are the keyboard shortcuts, and when you open up Photoshop for the first time, like if you're brand new to Photoshop, it already has all your keyboard shortcuts kind of set out and laid out for you. And I'm going to link you guys in the description, one for the PC and one for the Mac, on all the different Photoshop shortcuts that come standard. So if you're looking at the charts, you may notice that a lot of the keyboard shortcuts are representative of the first letter of the tool that you're using. So B is a shortcut for a brush, and then E is for eraser, and so on. And I also found that you can actually order keyboards with the shortcuts printed right on the keys, or even stickers that you can lay right over the keyboard, and it kind of is like a shortcut for remembering where you placed your keys. And I don't recommend actually setting up shortcuts for every single key that you have, because literally there's probably five to ten hotkeys that I use when I'm drawing, and those are the ones that I'm going to kind of show you why I set those up as my shortcuts and how to do so. So I don't recommend setting up a keyboard shortcut for every single tool and preset that Photoshop has to offer because you probably won't remember all of them and there's really only a, like five to ten that you really need to remember and those are what I consider the hotkeys. So for instance my hotkeys would be the brush and eraser, the undo, the save, the liquify filter, the hue saturation menu, Things like that, things that I find myself using the most while I'm drawing in Photoshop. So that'll vary from person to person, but as you use Photoshop more, you'll kind of see which ones you're always using and which ones you'll just want to be able to pull up really quick. So to do that, we're going to go and find our keyboard shortcut menu, and on a Mac, it's under Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and on a PC, I believe it's under File. So here we go, this is our keyboard shortcut menu. You can also see there's a menus tab, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to worry about the keyboard shortcuts. And right now it's showing the shortcuts for our application menus. So that is pretty much our top bar and the shortcuts for that. So things like our filters would be under the application menu. So for instance, I use liquify a lot and that would be under filter. And you can see here, liquify, and it's set as command L because I previously set it as that. And originally it's something longer and something that I wouldn't normally remember. So all I do is I look for my liquify, click on the keyboard shortcut, and then type it in. So let's say I want to change it to Command W. It'll tell you if there's already a keyboard shortcut assigned to that. And if you click Accept, it'll delete the one you had before that and then set it up for the new one we're doing. So for instance, this one's liquify. But for me to remember it quick and easy, I'll just do Command L. Choose Accept. And there we go, our keyboard shortcut is set. So let's say we're trying to edit things like our tools, so our brush and our eraser. I would open that menu up, and I would scroll down to tools, and then this is where you can see all of our tools are set up. So now from here, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to search for my eraser tool. And originally it was set as E, but I am going to set it up as V because it's right next to the letter B, and then I can toggle between the two really fast. But that's all personal preference. And then I can go down and I can look at each of the tools and which ones I believe I use the most, and then I'll set those up as my keyboard shortcuts as well. So it's literally as easy as going in this menu, doing a quick edit on your shortcut, and you are done. So then from here, I'll choose OK. So I definitely recommend setting up some keyboard shortcuts, and I hope you guys have fun doing it, and thanks for watching.